tibial spine avulsion is a variant of an ACL injury. Although not exclusive, they are most common in the skeletally immature, with the highest incidence between the ages of 8 and 13. As is seen here, the ACL remains intact, but the attachment to the tibia is disrupted. The Meyer and McKeever classification is often used to decide the management plan. On this plain x-ray, the displaced fragment is highlighted. The MRI scan clearly shows the ligament to still be intact. This is the dark structure running diagonally. But its bony attachment to the tibia is displaced, with the anterior portion elevated, lifting up like a trapdoor. On a coronal CT, the bony fragments are easily visualised, making sure the intermeniscal ligament is not caught in the fracture site is the key to reducing the bony fragment. This is the structure that is being probed. On this axial MRI, the intermeniscal ligament is seen connecting the anterior horn of the lateral and medial menisci. The displaced, elevated anterior edge of the fragment is highlighted on the MRI, and this feature can be appreciated in the corresponding arthroscopic surgical footage. In this case, headless compression screws, which do not cross the growth plate, were used for fixation.